Welcome to the 215th edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. Douthat State Park and the Douthat Speed Group put on a very successful 2024 Kids Fishing Day event early Saturday. Temperatures rose from the low 40s to nearly 65 degrees by noon, but by that time, Erie kids had caught hundreds of pounds of trout. Yet another Easter Eve concert was held by the well-known announcers gospel group last Saturday evening with more than a dozen favorites performed by the singers. The event helped raise money for the Grace Bible Camp in Goshen, Virginia, with camp director Blake Reese showing up to tell the audience about the experiences it provides regional children. A video is now available on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. A relatively short but happy Easter bonnet parade was held in downtown Clifton Forge last Saturday with a few dozen revelers showing up for the event. There's video of it now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Each year, the Allegheny Journal chooses an early Easter church service to attend, with the Grace Brethren Church's service at Humpback Bridge being a popular venue. Guest speaker, Pastor Billy Price, provided the congregation with an informative, interesting sermon, and Mickey Craighead followed it up with a song. There's video both now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. The historic Masonic Theater held another theme-type Friday night party on March 29th with a popular DJ spinning up the best of the 60s through the 90s for the big crowd. Interim Old Town Covington President Jennifer Smith penned a letter to the editor on Wednesday thanking many sponsors and participants of the second annual Tea at the Market event held at the Good News Church. At about 7 p.m. last Tuesday, the Covenant Police Department responded to the 700 block of North Pocahontas Avenue for a report about a man sustaining a single gunshot wound to the chest. He was found deceased near the street outside his residence. The incident remains under investigation. Three experienced Virginia Fire Services experts presented their recent findings in a comprehensive Allegheny County Fire and EMS study for the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday in Lomore. It took them nearly 30 minutes to make a slew of recommendations. There's video now on the Allegheny Journal's YouTube channel. Covington Police Chief Chris Smith announced some promotions and introduced some relatively new police officers to the public at Tuesday's Covington City Council work session. Video of the presentation is now available on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. And now a word from our sponsor. On Tuesday evening, both Covington City Manager Alan Dressler and Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walters provided their respective governing bodies with detailed updates on issues and other matters. Video of both is now available on the Allegheny Journal's YouTube channel. New Area Attorney Dirk Paget and his staff enjoyed a pleasant ribbon-cutting ceremony on Tuesday with a good crowd showing up at his 301 West Main Street, Covington location. Paget promised new clients aggressive representation. It was his first ever quarterly report 
and Allegheny County Covington Sheriff Kyle Moore reeled off a host of statistics and numbers indicating a wealth of activity at his office for the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors on Tuesday evening. Video of his presentation is now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. She's almost always peppered with requests for roads-related fixes, down tree reports, and more, but not so many were presented on Tuesday at the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors meeting. VDOT's Susan Hammond's report is now on video on the Allegheny Journal's YouTube channel. At the end of Tuesday's Covington City Council work session, Mayor Tom Seibel noted that additional job training opportunities are needed in the region. Here are the mayor's idea on this subject on video now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. West Rock's Covington Mill announced Thursday that the annual outage would begin next Wednesday, April 10th. The various dates and places for maintenance are listed in the company's news release, now on AlleghenyJournal.com. The company noted that noise and odors will occur from time to time, but that it was working to minimize both. Several area officials, as well as Allegheny County Covington Department of Social Services staff members, gathered at Covington City Hall on Wednesday for the formal signing of a proclamation declaring the month of April as National Child Abuse Prevention Month. A team of JRTC students will compete in a National Anatomage Tournament in Las Vegas on June 1st, they're currently raising money to fund the $5,000 cost by a variety of fundraisers. There's more about this right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. At 7.20 p.m. on Thursday, a 2012 F-150 operated by Robert Eagle Wright of Covington was traveling north on Route 18 near Rudbud Road. He accidentally ran off the left-hand side of the road and struck a tree. Despite having his seatbelt on, Mr. Wright died at the scene. The full Virginia State Police release is now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And thanks very much for joining us today for our 215th show in this series. With more than 19,319 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week.